the campsite. Chris, the camping Texan here. And another episode of Where in the World is the Geo Pro. We're up at Fort Richardson State Park in Jacksboro, Texas. And this is campsite number two. Before I get into what I liked and didn't like about campsite two, I just want to say that there's three activities that you need to do if you come to Fort Richardson. Uh, the first is you need to see the historical area. This state park was once an active military post from 1867 to 1878 as well as it housed soldiers during world war ii the buildings that they have on site are free with your paid admission and you can walk through them there's also an interpreter that will help talk you through some of the historical uh, things that happened here Number two is the Lost Creek Trail. It's an absolutely beautiful trail. It's um, not very long, but it is very serene. And uh, you need to check that out as well. And then the last is the quarry. The quarry is up by headquarters and it's a great place to go fishing. If you have small children or you have a large group, they also have a really nice playground um, and group facility here. So go check those out. Now, we'll go back to campsite and I'll show you what I liked and what I didn't like. So this is campsite two. This is your campsite. Uh, it has a very large, spacious front yard with a tree, a lot of trees behind your campsite. Across the road, uh, there are a lot of windmills. There's an active windmill farm. And then we, we saw a few deer out in the field early this morning. So there are some wildlife roaming about and then this is the road that takes you down to the dumpster and the dump station um, now you guys always know in my videos I always review where the dumpster is located so you can get rid of your trash and you can see it it's not too far down there maybe take your bicycle and uh, and take your trash down there and there's also a bathhouse and restroom um, no bugs this weekend. This is mid-November. Didn't even have to deal with a single bug issue this weekend at all. Um, satellite service is great. Cell phone service, we have AT&T. No problems with cell service. Uh, the site is nice and level. Took no time to level up the Geo Pro. Very easy to get into. Um, you will notice how the driveway is curved. Um, It'd be your best bet to go on down to the dump station and turn around and come back so that you get a nice a nice uh, back into your site so let's go on back to the uh the campsite area and i'll give you another view looking out all right the campsite next to us is number one and it seems like a pretty good campsite as well. It's got some trees and it's fairly hidden, uh, but this is looking out toward the road from campsite two. Now this campsite is a full hookup site. So you have full electric service, sewer and water. Um, everything works here. No leaks, no issues with the electricity or sewage. And then in the back, of course, you have your barbecue pit, your fire ring. Your picnic table is hidden by the trees, so it's nice and cozy back here. Good place to light your fire. Um, now, let me show you one of the hidden gems about this campsite. At the very back of your campsite, you have a shortcut to the Lost Creek Trail. And it's a little strenuous to get down these rocks, but you can see the trail is right down beneath you, as well as the creek. Um, it is doable. So give that a shot if you're here at campsite too. So I'm gonna be honest, really found no issues with campsite too. Um, maybe the proximity to campsite three might be the only issue, but other than that, it's absolutely beautiful here. 
um, it, this is one of the less, I would say, used or traveled state parks, uh, if you compare it to some of the more popular ones. So definitely get up here and check it out. I always like to give you guys another campsite uh, close to where we're staying uh, that is a reasonable alternative. And this is number three. It's nice and deep. Um, it's right off of the road. Easy to get into, uh, probably 70, 75 feet deep. It has full service hookups as well. Uh, so you've got uh, all your power there, your 20, your 30, your 50 amp breakers, your water, your sewer. Looks nice and level. So it would be uh, effortless to get your, your uh, travel trailer, camper, RV, nice and level. Over here, um, you've got your grill and you have your fire ring, your picnic table, um, a very interesting tree over your picnic table. And then behind the picnic table area is a really neat outcropping of rock. And so this is your view at the back of campsite number three. And if I pan around, you can see what it looks like uh, from behind, again, with your, your picnic table. And then if you look across the field, you can see the, the very large uh, windmills. So this is site 13. And in my opinion, if you're not staying at site two, 13 and 41 are really good sites. 13 is not a full hookup site. You have electricity and water, as well as your picnic table, your grill and fire ring. But the beauty of this site is that it's very spacious with the tree in the front. Um, you have a driveway that's over 70 feet long, so it'll accommodate most any RV or camper it's just beautiful and another great feature of the site is across from where you're camping is the trailhead for rumbling springs so you can leave your rv and go straight to the trail if you're more into pull through sites uh, site 26 is a great site it's right off the main road And it has electric and water, no sewer, and your picnic table and grill and fire ring are all underneath trees, so you have some natural shade. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. It's been a great weekend. Come and join us as we go to Garner State Park for Thanksgiving in a couple of days. Remember, if you like the content of this channel, to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll know when our videos come out, and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please leave those as well. And I'll see you at the campsite.